season is in full swing. Drama everywhere in Baltimore. General Manager Eric DaCosta on drafting the receivers and the problems. He said, quote, if I had an answer, that would probably mean I would have some better receivers. We're going to keep swinging. He said there have been some guys that have been successful players for us that were draft picks, but we never really hit on an all-pro type of guy. But get this. The response from Rashad Bateman, number one draft pick to the Baltimore Ravens, number one by first round, not number one overall. He said, how about you play to your player's strengths and stop pointing the finger at us and number eight. The only, blame the one you let do this. We take heat 24-7 and keep us healthy. Care about us and see what happens. Ain't no promises, though. Tired of y'all lying and capping on players for no reason. Drama, 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 drama. Lamar Jackson. I don't know why we pictured him there. Maybe because, in theory, all of this stems from Lamar Jackson. Bingo. Not being signed. I have so many thoughts, but Dave Hellman, you know all things about football. Talk to me. What do you make of the Ravens drama? This is what happens when you don't sign your franchise quarterback. Like, when you leave the most important job in the organization up in the air, you open the door for drama at every turn. And maybe that sounds like a reach. Like, if you're just reading what we put on the board there, maybe that sounds a little bit of a reach to you. But I, I read this, I read through this a dozen different times. Eric DaCosta, in this particular instance, and obviously, you know, we're in Indianapolis at the Combine. They're talking about every aspect of every team. He's talked about Lamar this week. But this quote that led to the clapback from Rashad Bateman had nothing to do with Lamar Jackson. Mm -hmm. But what does Rashad Bateman say when he fires back at his own GM? Stop pointing the finger at us and number eight. That's Lamar, for those of you that might be unaware. I think this, this contract situation has pervaded every aspect of the Ravens franchise, and rightfully so. And if you need an example of that, guys, this is one of the most boring franchises in the NFL. Not in terms of, like, how they play. I'm talking about the way that they're run. Like, the Baltimore Ravens do not spend time in the headlines. It's not what they do. They draft. They develop. They win enough they win. games. They, yeah, they win. They, they are, they're in playoff contention or they make the playoffs. That's what they do. Like, there, there ain't no drama in Baltimore. There hasn't been in years. And then Lamar Jackson sits out the end of the season with an injury, and, and we've got his contract hanging over every aspect of the offseason. Do you do all think that's a coincidence? Because mm -mm. I, I do not. Sir, no, sir. And I just think it's, it is, it's very <laughs> telling that an organization that I associate with stability more than most is going through this very dramatic it's it's just now march by the way mm. it's just now march it's only gonna get dicier here's the thing I, I was reading the the quote from rashad bateman and i'm a curious person so when he says blame the one you let do this to us i'm like who is he talking about i did my googles steve saunders he was fired february 21st by the baltimore ravens just a few days a few weeks ago steve saunders is a strength coach for the baltimore ravens and seemingly no former player and many current don't necessarily like him. Allegedly led to so many of the injuries for the Baltimore Ravens. I remember Matthew G Judon, he tweeted back in 2021 when he goes to the Patriots, hashtag fire Steve. I listened to a podcast earlier today of Derek Wolf in 2022, former Ravens defensive tackle, if I'm not mistaken. He said that he wanted to come back from an injury. He was two weeks away from coming back. He spent a day of practice in the weight room with Steve Saunders and re-aggravated his hip and couldn't come back. I looked at many other different players. I believe uh, uh, a, a former linebacker, Bam Bradley, yep. talking about how he had different injuries that Steve Saunders accentuated. So I'm like, wait a second, Rashad Bateman. If you talk and I'm going to listen. If you're saying that there's somebody who did this to you, I will listen. Period. Putting a pin in that. Eric DaCosta right, too, though. Mm. See, general manager for the Ravens, 2-5, he was trying to take heat off of Lamar. He's like, hey, I could be better. What did y'all talk about yesterday? Joy Dave talked about this at length. I love somebody who's self-aware. I yeah. stand for self-awareness. What Eric DaCosta say, I've missed on draft picks at the wide receiver position. I could be better. Hey, every now and then somebody catches a stray 2-5, and I believe the wide receiver's caught a stray, but I hear Bateman, I hear DaCosta. Is he, is, is he accountable? I don't think so. You said, oh, I missed on wide receivers. No, 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 no. Go out there and get your franchise quarterback a real wide receiver. He said he tried. Oh, no, no, no. He drafted some. Of course. Drafted some. Yes, sir. Other teams like the Eagles, they went out there and put $100 million and got them a, a, sure. a wide receiver. Sure. A.J. Brown. The Cardinals, right? We, we all think Kyler Murray is just, he's getting better. We'll just say that in a nice way. He he's getting better. He got there getting D-hop. Yes, sir. He got cost some money. Absolutely. The Bills. Same draft class. Josh Allen, sure. quarterback, who's a bad boy. No doubt. He has up and down years. What we do? Go get him a $100 million wide Fair. receiver. Stephon Diggs. So 
You saying you trying, but really are you? But come the, on, hold on, hold on. That's the easy way out. Another thing is this. I gotta get some of that blame. See, I'm all about the player, right? I, I hate when 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 uh, uh, um, a team draft a player and they want them just to fit into their scheme. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what this player is, right? Now, Bateman, when he was in Minnesota, he put some numbers up. He wasn't no slouch. He was a speed, he's a speedster wide receiver. Good player. So why would you bring him to the, the Ravens as a speed wide receiver that stretches the field deep if you're gonna run the ball the whole game? Greg Roman, who was the office coordinator, I played with him in Buffalo. He's a good, he's a, he's a good, no, no, I'm sorry. He's a great coordinator for teams that have a struggling quarterback, right, that want to run the ball. They're the only team that still uses a, a fullback, mm -hmm. right? That's like a, a thing in their offense. I'm being serious. Yeah. So now yeah. when you look at the Ravens, they average, what are they, like 31st in pass attempts. They're not throwing the ball. But you go out there and get you a speed receiver. It doesn't make sense. I think now that he's going, right, you get you a better coordinator that can stretch the field. Let Lamar throw the ball. Mm -hmm. Get him a, 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 a top flight wide receiver. Spend some money. Don't draft one, Ravens. Go get one. Okay, but Shady, if I'm, Eric, if I'm Eric DaCosta watching this show, which I'm sure he is, if I'm <laughs> watching this watching. show, Joy, I'd say this. Okay, the Eagles got A.J. Brown. Congratulations. They got to the Super Bowl and they lost. The Bills got Stephon Diggs. Congratulations. Y'all have gotten to the uh, AFC Championship game yeah. a year ago. Not this year. Okay. A year ago and you lost. Um, the Cardinals. Y'all got DeAndre Hopkins. Congratulations. What in the world is that gun for you? Got you to the playoffs one time and you got smoked. So, one time with DeAndre Hopkins being there. So, if I'm Eric DaCosta watching this, that's what I would have rebuttaled to Shady is like, our way is having just as much success or lack thereof is their way. Are, are, is it as much success? Is it? Is it? <laughs> it's not. That's debatable. And the heel, let me not, answer. Not, He's not, funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the same success. It's not. The Ravens' getting, success getting, and the Cardinals' get, success. Losing to the Bengals in the first round of the playoffs and the Eagles making the Super Bowl is not the same amount of success. Bills, Cardinals. The Bills won the AFC when, when were they playing in the AFC Championship game? When were they doing that? They would have if Lamar did well, six. Da, 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 da. When did they do that? They did not. Yeah. They have not had the same amount of success. That's what I would say, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all not have had the same amount of success. And this is what I've been saying about the Ravens for a while now. They're living off reputation. And it's a good reputation, but it's a reputation. Yep. It's, it's a resume. It's not really what you're showing up as today. You have a resume. Are you showing up with the resume? Talk about They're it. They're not. That's this, all this dysfunction, you're right. We don't see this around the Ravens. Nope. Because this isn't really how the Ravens usually do business. They usually do what? Pay their quarterback. They did that twice. They're not doing that anymore. And Lamar Jackson's way better than Joe Flacco. So they're doing business differently than they normally do, and it is costing them. Now, I agree. Eric is right. What he's saying is factual. Correct. Like, they haven't hit. But Shady's also right. You haven't hit. That doesn't mean you can't, you A, stop trying, and B, get credit for trying if you are making mistakes. Like, you making mistakes and acknowledging you're making mistakes is good. But you're still making mistakes. And if you can't draft, if you're recognizing you are not seeing the talent that right. needs to be brought in here in the draft, that means you go spend money. That means it's time to spend money. That means it's time to use those draft picks you have to trade for somebody that you know is, is a known commodity. Lamar Jackson needs help. Everybody can see that, except for the Ravens. Oh, we're trying. In the draft, but y'all don't know what you're doing. You're saying yourself you don't know what you're doing. So I think the Ravens are surviving off reputation. I think the success that they are putting out there as being a successful organization over the past few years is wildly overblown. And the success that they have had has been on the, the legs and the back of Lamar Jackson, who they're not trying to pay now. And if, if you look at this Raven team, what do you think they miss? If What's one position you think they need? Receiver. I mean, they need better receivers, yeah. That's what I'm saying. So, in the, the case you brought, if you was Eric and you was talking for him, mm -hmm. you would say, oh, well, yeah, we haven't had so much success. But no, listen, if you go out there and you get your wide receiver, that's the only thing you're missing. That's it. Defense is solid. Defense is solid. The, 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 line, the, the uh, offensive line is solid. The run game solid. You need a wide receiver. Keep this in mind, too. Uh, I'm, you, you're right. I mean, Eric DaCosta makes a good point. They've drafted eight receivers since Lamar joined the team. The only one of those eight that's come close to being a guy was Hollywood Brown. And they traded him away, by the way, mm -hmm. to help, which the Cardinals wanted to help Kyler Murray. And I think that's what gets lost a lot. And I'm guilty of this because I love the team building aspect of this. I love draft picks. I love all that stuff. I think the human element gets lost in this a little bit. If you're a Ravens player, what do you think when you see, like Hollywood Brown was a good player for them. They traded him away rather than commit to him. 
And now they're struggling to commit to Lamar Jackson. They're struggling to get a deal for him. If you're a player on the Ravens, you're saying, well, these guys don't want to, like, they don't want to commit to us. They don't want to pay us. They're blaming us for their shortcomings as an organization. And I think that gets lost. You mentioned the thing with the strength and conditioning staff. This is fascinating. The NFLPA, for the first time ever, the Players Association, put out a league-wide report card of how each organization does in different aspects of, of the, how they run things. The Ravens finished with an average grade of 17th. And again, like, this is an organization I think out, of out them. Out of 32? Out of 32. That's worse than, I mean, that's yeah. the bottom half. Yeah. I think of them as like a top five, eight organization in terms of the way they run things. That's what we thought. What we're seeing is maybe that's not true. And I'll go back to my point. When you can't get your quarterback signed, I think it brings up a lot of anxiety that might otherwise stay below but the they, surface. And real quick, and they spent three men off for the, on a wide receiver group. That's the worst in the NFL. Mm -hmm. But my thought is this, though. Because if, we're, if we're being real, the Dolphins spent a lot of money on a receiver. Um, when they did so, they had their quarterback on a rookie deal. The Eagles spent a lot of money on a receiver. Did so, had a quarterback on a rookie deal. Bills spent a lot of money on a receiver. When they did so, their quarterback was on a rookie deal. The Cardinals spent a lot of money on a receiver. When they did so, their quarterback was on a rookie deal. I don't know the math of it all. Dave, you probably know better than I. I'll let you get the final thought. Isn't there come a point where the Ravens would have to not only change the way in which they've done business and they've won multiple championships, one of only five NFL teams to win multiple championships in the turn of the century, they'd have to not only change the way they do business, but can you, Shady, ask them to pay 125 mil for a receiver, A.J. Brown, what he got, and then simultaneously pay 230 for a quarterback, which is what Lamar wants? I can't, I don't want to speak for Shady and Joy. I think their opinions are valid. I'm not, I'm not as hell bent that they need a $20 million receiver. I mean, Justin Jefferson and CeeDee Lamb are on rookie deals right now. You can find game changers at receiver in the draft. But they, but they no, can't. But, they but can. no, they're bad at okay, it. Absolutely. So if you can't do that, you got to do something else. You got to go get somebody. And, and Josh Allen wasn't on his rookie deal. When they got Diggs. They pay, they pay him, and then they, they pay Josh, then they pay... Back, 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 back to back. And where is the Ravens' money tied up? Is it on the defensive side of the ball? For the most part. And, you know, so you got the money, you're just paying the, the other side Jackson. of the ball and expecting the draft. Like, theoretically, it makes sense. Pay the defensive side of the ball, which you know how to put together, mm -hmm. and then draft wide receivers. But if you can't draft wide receivers and you're saying we're trying and failing, then you're also failing to put together the team because you know you're not hitting on these and you refuse to go and get a known commodity. Which, and that, this is why I said what I said at the top of this. Eric DaCosta didn't say anything wrong, and honestly, he took a lot of accountability. He took the heat. Did he? But when your team is in disarray because of things that you've been unable to do, namely securing the future long-term and knowing what quarterback you're building around, again, uh, what, what's the saying? Molehills become mountains in situations like this. Very and I think that's quickly, what's happening. and this one has become a mountain in Baltimore. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak, and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.